Hey guys, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are barefaced. We are abnormally zoomed in, so that can only mean one thing. We're doing our makeup. I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing a full face one brand of video today. I have been wanting to do one of these for so long on this channel and I'm so excited. It's finally happening. So today we're gonna be doing a full face of makeup from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm super excited to try out all these products. So let's get into it. Okay, so you guys probably know what a full face one brand makeup video is. Like, I'm not gonna take time to explain that. Just gonna be doing a face of makeup with products from e.l.f. So I bought a ton of stuff off the website, but before we get into the actual makeup pieces, I just wanna talk really quick about like the brand itself. Whenever I'm trying a product or a brand, I always like to give you guys some background and information so you know what you're getting into if you want to purchase it yourself. So e.l.f. is vegan, cruelty-free, and clean, and all of the products from e.l.f. are very affordable. e.l.f. Cosmetics is extremely affordable, which is so nice, because so many makeup brands these days are like, outrageous so if you are looking for an affordable makeup brand to try out definitely check out elf i don't remember if it was 50 dollars or like 35 dollars but once you spent a certain amount of money on the elf website you could get free shipping i definitely spent enough to get free shipping <laughs> but anyways it told me it would take 7 to 15 days to arrive at my house it actually only took like four so i was very impressed with that, I didn't have to wait very long for this at all. And so I think it is just time to dive into the pieces. Also, e.l.f. does not know I'm doing this. This is not sponsored by e.l.f. I'm gonna be giving my open and honest opinions. So yeah, guys, not sponsored by e.l.f. I actually have tried some products from e.l.f. before in the past, but all the products I bought today, I've never tried before. So it's gonna be my first impression on all of them. So let's do it. So the first thing that we are trying out, it's technically not a makeup product, but I'm still very interested to try it. It's the e.l.f. Skin Jade Roller. So you guys can see there, it's like one of those facial rollers that's supposed to be like cooling and help like lift your skin and like release toxins. And I actually really like using these, but I don't have one at the moment. So I'm very excited to have this one. Okay, so here it is out of the packaging. Really nice. It feels so cooling. I'm just gonna kind of massage my face a little. It feels really nice. It rolls really, really well. So, I mean, obviously this is just something like, it's not a necessity. It just feels really nice. and over time you see results but first impression really good i like it let's just move on to like the actual makeup this, this is just a little bonus product <laughs> okay so first up is primer so i got the elf power grip primer I, i've never tried this before very excited so um elf does do this thing where if you spend 35 or more dollars you can get two free miniatures for free so i did get the miniature primer i promise this is the only mini product in this whole video i didn't want to just buy miniatures because i wanted you guys to like see the actual size of the product but i could get a mini primer for free as a sample and then not have to pay for the full size one so that way i can try out the miniature one and if i like it i can buy the full size but yeah so they do give away some freebies which is really cool and really fun so this is the miniature size this is not the size of the full primer but let's try it out okay so here's how it looks how the tip looks i'm just gonna squeeze a little bit onto my finger and then just rub it all over my face okay so this is not the consistency i was expecting at all i thought it'd be really like like watery kind of and just like slide on my face and kind of feel like water but it's like really sticky like super sticky like my skin just kind of like absorbs it and it's really hard to like spread around very very tacky i actually need a little bit more to get the rest of my face because it's so sticky okay which i mean there's nothing wrong with a tacky primer because it can like help the makeup stick but it's just not at all what i was expecting i thought it was gonna be like liquidy and slippery okay so my face is covered in the primer i let it dry for a minute it's still like pretty tacky i think that's how it's supposed to be so i can't really give my full feedback on it until i like put more makeup on top of it to see how it goes 
but so far it's good let's just move on to foundation and then we'll come back to like my thoughts on this okay so for foundation i have this color correcting full coverage natural finish elf camo cc cream here's how it looks i have tried several foundations from elf um and i honestly have like mixed opinions on them i normally like the way their foundations look but after wearing it for a couple hours it tends to like separate on my skin and then my face gets really oily like it doesn't i don't know it might just be my skin type because i have very oily skin but like it doesn't seem to like to stick to my skin it separates a lot but i've never tried this one so this could be completely different than the other ones i've tried so this has spf in it um spf 30 so i've actually never even worn a foundation with sunscreen in it so this is very very all new territory for me I really love the packaging, how it like has that reflex. I hope you guys can see that on the camera. It's really cool. So let's dive in. I really hope that I got the correct shade. Shade matching online is like scary. It's very thick, thicker than other e.l.f. foundations I've tried. Well, you guys can see that consistency. I'm gonna start with just a bit. Um, Honestly, sorry, I know I'm looking past the camera because the mirror is behind, but it shouldn't be too bad of a match. I, I think it looks pretty good. So let's do it. I'm going to blend it in with my own makeup sponge. I didn't buy a makeup sponge from e.l.f. I've heard good things about their makeup sponges. But I'm just using my own. Let's put it on. Okay, so foundation is on. I actually like it quite a bit. It's very thick, so a little tricky to blend in. It's pretty good coverage. Like, I think it's, I like it a lot. It's definitely more full coverage compared to other elf foundations i've tried all the elf foundations i've tried in the past have always been very sheer so i like it it's not an exact match for my skin it's close though but that's not the product's fault that's my own fault so i'll put up on the screen if it's separated throughout the day because that's really gonna be the deciding factor on if i like it right now definitely more of like a dewy shiny finish it's not mattifying all right let's move on so for concealer i have this flawless brightening concealer there we go okay so really what intrigued me about this concealer is the packaging because it's not like a normal like tube of concealer it like has this button that you push on the bottom and then like it comes out of this brush like it's on a brush like i don't know maybe this is normal but like not for me so there's how it looks on a brush and you push the button to disperse the product so let's do this well this is kind of gonna be a lot um it's on my nose too okay hold on i gotta deal with this off camera okay you guys so the concealer is on sorry that got a little crazy because i decided to pump it like a lot and it started kind of spewing out the top but i really like that method of applicating it it gets it really smooth and even like to brush it on and then just dab it in with a makeup sponge really great just don't push it like 30 times like i did um yeah so i would say pretty good coverage um it works really well with the foundation i just used i really like the way it looks definitely a little more on the dewy side but yeah it's great i actually really like it i'll probably use that to completion um the only thing is just going to be how well it stays on throughout the day but yeah i like that okay so now let's like add some definition to our blank face got the bite size face duo in guava this has like a little bronzing highlighter and then a blush when it said bite size, it meant bite size. This is very small, but very cute and very affordable to get like the two in one. So let's try it out. They had several different shades in this. All right, so let's let's put this on. I'm just using my own brushes once again. Let's go in with some blush. Oh, oh, that's really pigmented. I was not expecting that. Okay, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, we might be a little bit sun-kissed today. This is very pigmented. Go easy on it. Okay, I've got this small mirror now. Definitely looking a little rosy. Okay, now I'm gonna get this highlight. Okay, so the highlight is definitely less intense than the blush. It's not like a very crazy highlight. It's very subtle and actually quite like it. Okay, so I give that palette a win. The blush is really nice. The highlight is like not mind blowing, but it's not bad. And also kind of works as a bronzer too. So it's like has two different like you can use it for two different things and the blush was really nice so we have the elf halo glow setting powder okay so here's how the powder looks pretty standard container i just got it in like light 
Okay, so I'm gonna go a little heavy on the setting powder just because I really want it to do its job. Uh, it's very like thick, honestly. I'm gonna start under my eyes and then just proceed to set the rest of my face and then I will dust it all off. Okay, you guys, so honestly, I love that setting powder. I feel like it did a really good job of absorbing that moisture and looks very like good. Let's move on to eyes. So I got the bite-sized eye palette in Cream and Sugar, I think is what it was called. It looks kind of like the face palette we used. So they have like blues, purples, all kinds of cool colors in this type of palette. I went with the neutrals. Take me to jail, I'm sorry. But let's, let's put this on. Okay, so here's my finished eye look. Nothing too crazy, but I did use every color from this palette and I really, really love all the colors in here. They're pretty pigmented and they blend so easily. Like I make, if you make a mistake with this palette, it's very forgiving because this formula is so blendable. It's great. I love this. This is gonna be like a staple little eyeshadow palette. And I okay, so next up is a mascara. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara, Curling and Lifting Mascara. So I'm very excited to try this. I've tried one mascara from e.l.f. before and it wasn't bad, but it would not stay on my eyes. Like my eyelashes looked okay at first, but then it would just smear everywhere. Like touch my eyelashes and it would smear everywhere. So I'm hoping we have better luck with this one, super cute packaging. I love the pink. Okay, I actually really love the way this one looks so thin, so it's gonna be way easier because I'm so bad at putting on mascara. I always get it everywhere. And that curve, okay, let's give it a try. Okay, you guys, so the mascara is on and honestly, I really like it. It didn't lengthen my lashes like a ton, but it said that it was a curling and lifting mascara and it 100% did that. My lashes, I feel like look very curled even though I didn't curl them and they look very lifted. And this wand is incredible. It helped the process go so much faster because you could be so precise. And I got way less like on my face. Like it made it faster and easier. And it made the lashes not clump together so much because it's so thin, less product gets on it at a time. So you can really like spread out your lashes. So yeah, if you want your lashes like curled and like lifted, this is a good mascara for you. And if you struggle with those big bulky wands, this is a good mascara for you. I really like this, 100% gonna be using it to completion. This is incredible, as long as it doesn't smear, I'll let you know up on the screen if it's smeared throughout the day. This is great, thumbs up. Let's move on. All right, so now it is time for lips. So I got the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in the color of Pinkies Up. This would be kind of cool because it's like stained, so it colors your lips, but it's also glossy. So like, I was thinking this could be like one product and you get the color and the gloss. So I'm really excited to try it out. Okay, let's put it on. Hey guys, I really like this product. Look, my lips are completely colored and glossy all in one. I am absolutely in love with this product too. Great. All right, let's move on. Okay, you guys, so the final product we're gonna try is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist with up to a 16 hour wear. So I am really excited to try this. I really hope that it actually like lasts for like a long time. So I tried to film this video kind of earlier on in the morning. By now it's like not the earliest, but I will let you know on the screen after using this if it's still on like tonight and like the makeup's still good. Cause sometimes, like I said, my makeup will be like separated by the end of the night. So, so I'll let you know if this really does hold my makeup the entire day. This is a great size bottle, honestly. Like this is so inexpensive and look at how big this is. This is gonna last four ever let's try it all right let's do it i'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna test it first like get the mist going first oh it's such a light mist i hate it when setting sprays are like come out like a burst and just like hits you in the face and gets all globby it smells like perfume what 
I want to use this as a body spray and spray it over my body. It smells like perfume. Wait. What? It smells incredible. I've never had a setting spray that smells this good. What? Okay. Let's do this. It's such a light mist and my face just like absorbed it in two seconds. I was like, did I spray here yet? So I kind of I probably ended up going over it twice, but like it just like normally you have to pat my setting spray in but it's just like gone so wow okay i so far really like this product so i'll put up on the screen how well it holds okay you guys so that was trying a full face of elf i really honestly love the way my face looks right now i think it looks great there was not a product that i didn't like and i i love i am very happy with the way this turned out i definitely recommend checking out elf um again not sponsored i just feel like all of these products were extremely high quality for being so inexpensive so thank you guys so much for watching comment down below what brand you would like me to try out next if you'd like to see another full face one brand video because i definitely want to do another one this was so much fun yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back every weekend for new videos and make sure you turn on that bell button to receive notifications every time i upload because i also upload shorts like all throughout the week so thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye